ready for 125 pounds. Ethan Lezak, last year's national runner-up, and he got here by a medical forfeit or default by Soriano, the top seed in the semifinals. You see that, and uh, a win over Rivera from uh, Northwestern. Tomasello, big win, revenge over Lee from Iowa to get into the finals. Did they get a chance to watch that match? Being Tomasello basically did not take the bottom position the second period. Did it all on his feet, got a takedown in the latter minute. Was able to go ahead and ride out Lee for probably the most, one of the most exciting matches in the tournament. Last time these two met was in the dual meet. Tomasello winning 18 to three. Got it rolling and it never stopped. So, he's talking about adjustments that Lezak's gonna have to make. And Lezak's done that. I mean, he's, he's been able to go ahead and, and had a strong finish to his uh, season last year, making it all the way to the NCAA Finals at 25. Where he beat, got beat by Cruz of Lehigh. You wanna put it back? You know, I think okay. Coach Ryan said at best, he, they, the last, first time that they met, okay. it was uh, Lezak maybe had a little bit tougher time making the weight. Exactly. Big, long, rangy, 125 pounder. And, and of course, Tomasello dropping down from 133 pounds where he was at last year. Nathan Tomasello, the redshirt senior out of Parma, Ohio, Cuyahoga Valley Christian Academy, a three time Big Ten champion in on the high cross, cuts across. Trying to score the first two points of the match. And Lezak is locked up there above the knee. And he's pretty solid in this position. He's, now he's got a position where it's gonna make it difficult for Tomasello to cut across. Nope, good. Good and here's where he's able to go ahead and improve. And I think that uh, just a little couple hours of, of a way in here, late in the season, you're gonna see a little bit different Lezak. And that was a good positive sign for him to stay in the match, fighting off that high crotch shot of Tomasello's. Lezak out of Schnecksville, Pennsylvania, Parkland High School. So you got a PA and Ohio prep, two tremendous prep programs as far as uh, the high school wrestling. And look for Tomasello to stalk and stalk and stalk, and he'll, he likes a little swing single there, but that lead leg of, of uh, Lezak, the one that has the Minnesota, the M on the singlet there, that is where Tomasello likes to live. And if he can get to that here, he just put straight on with a great double leg here. Good work. You know, that was such a super adjustment there by the champion, Tomasello, because he, he, he uh, even though it was his favorite leg was led right there, such a deep, staggered stance. So he just decided to go after both of them. First two points on the board by the three-time big champion, oh, no, big 10 start, champion. There's Jay Jaggers, a two-time national champion, Ohio State assistant coach. Optional start there for Tomasello. Again, it's, it seems like Tomasello has made the determination. He says, I'm gonna win a national championship this year. I'm gonna to try to do it on my feet. You know, made that determination. Now Lezak in on the shot below the knees. Pretty effective here. He is very good right here. Yep. He Scoop the bottom leg, go ahead and score. Tomasello, pretty good scrambler. Able to go ahead and get two point takedown there. So a great answer by Lezak. He already, that's a huge confidence builder for him in this match. To be in the top position early, you know, we saw last year where he was able to put up a string of back points on world team member Thomas Gilman. You know, if this match wasn't going his way, he, he was likely going to choose the top position anyway. Now he gets it on his own with a good takedown. Tomasello, a national champion as a freshman, third as a sophomore. And at both at 125, went up to 133, got third last year, back at 125. Good there work by, and you know, thing about Tomasello, he does a pretty good job of staying in a ball, right? Good work there, he was able to collect the two back points right there, quick two back points. No argument from the Ohio State coaching staff there. Now he's got that left leg in there again, and if Tomasello doesn't block this, Technique, he's going to be in a little bit of trouble in this match. He's coming up high, high with the uh, stand up. Again, we're at short time here with four seconds left. Take a look at the keys to winning a championship here. You know, play to your strengths, and that's exactly what uh, is happening here with Lezak, getting in the top position. 
Increase your pace if it's not going your way. Tune into your corner and trust your instincts. There's just too much thinking that can go on sometimes. You've got to be instinctual out there to try to win a championship. And today's Keys to the Meet are brought to you by Nebraska Wrestling Camps, the best team camps in the country. Nice job. Tomasello. Again, he's... he's Shorter and compact anyway, that's what uh, Lezak, you see the height difference between the two athletes, almost close to four or five inches there between the two 25 pounders. Look for nice job of going ahead and, and, and balling up here, keeping these up close to the chest. He's able to go ahead and catch it, that leg right there, but Lezak grabs his own ankle, all right? Basically sets the stirrup for himself right there when he goes ahead and, and uh, cinches it right there against his ankle. Now he works off into a spiral ride. What Lezak, yeah, Lezak will try to go ahead and get him into a crab ride, stretch him out, and that chest comes away from those thighs. It's trouble for Tomasello. As Lezak builds up the riding time, you see the drop down below Lezak's name. And wow. It's five to two. Lezak trying to put more points on the board. At least he had a one count right there. Referee Jason Wedgeberry. I think it was a good call. No call there on the second count. Good work. Now you've given the official the impression that you're, you have to look for that. Yeah, nice work there by Lee Zach in the top position. Totally a different wrestler than he is in the beginning of the year. As we said, he's coming off a loss to Tomasello in their duel mate, 18 to three, a tech fall. Lee Zach in his element, getting on top early and scoring. Well, he's doing the first thing we talked about in the match there, he's wrestling to his strengths. Being in the top position, this is an opportunity for Tomasello to get in it, all right? Again, he's already been warned for stalling the top position and he just goes ahead and gives up the escape. Tomasello, Five to three, just to take down will tie this up. A good riding time advantage there for Lezak. A short time right now. Lezak has to present himself in the middle of the mat. You don't want to give up a stall warning. And you all already know that Tomasello is capable of, short, of scoring when it's tight. There's huge a spin opportunity for Tomasello. Short time, 20 seconds left. It would be huge if Tomasello scored and rode out and it looks like that's what he's going to be able to do big big points you know when you get warned for stalling you got to make sure it doesn't take you out of what you like to do right and that's a classic example got warned from the top position gave up the escape and put the match back in Tomasello's strengths wow five five Tomasello out or, or tied up here Lezak has the riding time Tomasello is going to choose neutral here we go third period all tied up and right now, if you're if you're Lezak, you, you know that you've been in this match at this point. You know which direction Tomasello is going to attack you, and you've got to just go out there and try to manufacture some points of your own. You've got some confidence. You're able to get a takedown yourself. But Tomasello can afford to be patient. Just like that, a bad shot and an easy go behind. Thomas Sello used a late takedown in the third period against Lee from Iowa to come to the finals. Intentional release there by Thomas Sello, wise. Now effectively it's a tie score with Lezak's riding time. So Thomas Sello gave the escape, the one point to Lezak. He's out front, but as Jim said, he's got riding time stalling on Lezak. So that should be one point. Thomas Sello out front now, 8-6. And the three-timer is starting to smell four times. And it's been done very seldom in this tournament. Yeah, Lezak has an opportunity to score. He's got to create a scramble. Guy who has his head up is going to win the scramble. Good job of uh, Lezak by getting out of the danger position. You heard the one and two count. That was the stress that he was at 90 degrees. Goes for three seconds. He will award the points, but likely going to end up in a stalemate. And that's what's been impressive about Tomasello, particularly in the semifinals with Lee, was his defense. He won that match with a lot of good defense, and Lee had some good shots on him. Less than a minute left. Nathan Tomasello, three-time All-American, three-time Big Ten champion, trying to become only the 15th ever in the history of the tournament four-timer. This is a point in the match where you've got to trust your corner. You know, 
they're telling you to continue to march forward here, get the points, or whether they just want to basically to hold position to win a championship match. You can see that uh, Tomasella working a little bit high. He's holding position. Rizak really has a lot of trouble here. Tries a shot. But the shot has basically got to try to set something else up. There's another stalling going off. It can be one of three ways. Yeah, Push that's, out, back that's off, a... or, or in play. And uh, Jason Wedgeberry, the official, calls the fact that Lezak was backing out and stalling, and that would be another point. Yeah, if you take a look at what was happening there, it, it, Tomasello did push, but you have to answer that by circling at least slightly. No question that if you get a chance to take a look at the replay here of that last push out. And the indicator for me, well, does Tomasello extend his arms to push him out? And I think the answer is yes, right? It's kind of like, you know, if you're wrestling, you're not really extending your arms out like that. A push out is actually, when you're at the full extension on your bench press right there, that's, that's what that's Brandon real, Megan has a, a, a problem with. Yeah, that's a really good call, uh, Jim. Uh, good observation there. Brandon Egham is asking the official to look at that and make a technical call there. Yeah, and it's it's uh, so much installing is, is not, 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 not technical, technical, right? It's what you see, but you know, in that situation, down by one point, are you really tr trying to stall? You're the one that's down. You, you got pushed out. Ohio State trying to add on to their lead, nailed down their second straight team championship at the Big Tens. What a program that Tom Ryan has built. The flywheel is starting to roll, and it's year in and year out now, Jim. Well, this, take a look at the going into the finals here where there was an 11 and a half point spread, right? Jason Nolf wrestled yeah. in this tournament. Okay, and he went out there and wrestled a couple of matches and then he forfeited uh, the medical forfeit. He wins one more match, that's seven and a half points, right? He tightens this thing up quite a bit. Ohio State has seven in the finals, Penn State five. So, we'll see what the call is gonna be here. I think we're gonna get a reversal and I think it's a good one. We'll yes. know by the uh, score. Yep. Eight to six, they take the point away. And Jim, your point, uh, as far as the way that... Um, I'm just looking for extension. Extension, yeah. Yeah, extension of his elbows right there. And that's really, you don't do that unless you're really trying to push him off. But go behind there for Tomasello. And that'll be the icing on the cake right there for the four-time Big Ten champion, what an accomplishment. Ohio State's second, Logan Stieber. Their first and most recent of the 14. Well, there's a 15th. And his name is Nathan Tomasello from Parma, Ohio. The Ohio State Buckeyes get their second ever four-time Big Ten champion. Your winner, 125 pounds, Nathan Tomasello. Just a winner. Everything about that young man is preparation, discipline. Big hug for Zach Sanders, a guy that he trains with for the international style. So just a great sportsman. Knows how to come back down to the last year's national runner up, comes back to win his fourth. And Nathan Tomasello, the champion, is with Shane Sparks. All right, Nathan, once again, it's a battle, but you make history today. How rewarding, personally, to win four conference titles in this great, great, tradition-rich Big Ten? Uh, I've lost the words. I'm very grateful, thankful for so many people, my coaches, my teammates, my friends, my family. Just love them all. I've always really appreciated watching your body language when you prepare for battle. What's most important for you to prepare mentally before these matches? Just relaxing, calming down your nerves, knowing it's a big moment but just going out, giving my best, and knowing that God is, God is always going to be glorified through my wrestling. Great representative of the Big Ten. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. TJ? Your Big Ten champion at 125, Nathan Tomasello, the 15th ever four-time Big Ten champion.